The Mario Kart series has had tons of terrible power-ups. In this video, we're going to be going over all of the worst Mario Kart power-ups in Mario Kart history. With that being said, let's get right into it. And first up on the list, we have the Yoshi Egg and the Birdo Egg. Now, what makes these items really terrible, in my opinion, is that, yes, they're actually considered special. It's weird how these items are considered special in this game, when in previous Mario Kart games, you had the Red Shell, and this is pretty much a reskinned Red Shell. It doesn't make sense to me how double Dash really approaches its item system. Like, I do like the other special items in Mario Kart Double Dash, and I do think they really deserve the moniker of special. But when you give items that were in previous Mario Kart games and make them exclusive to a certain character combination, to me, it really just doesn't make sense. And that's why the Yoshi Egg and Birdo Egg end up on this list. And next up on the list, we have the fake item box. Now, the problem I feel with the fake item box is that structurally it doesn't work. Like yeah, if you've never played a Mario Kart game before and you jump into Mario Kart for the first time, you may look at the fake item box and go, yeah, maybe that's real. But if you've ever played any track in a Mario Kart game, you're gonna know exactly where the item boxes are placed. And if you see a random item box placed in the middle of nowhere, you're gonna know that it's not real. This item never made sense to me and that's probably why it never ended ended up coming back after Mario Kart Wii. And that's exactly why it's getting a spot on the list. And speaking of Mario Kart items that simply do not work, we have the Cape Feather. Now, the Cape Feather doesn't work because I feel all of the new Mario Kart tracks have been relatively dynamic in terms of verticality. Like, yeah, this item works perfectly well when all of the stages are perfectly flat. However, in a game like Mario Kart 64, the Cape Feather just wouldn't work. And I get what they were going for with the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Cape Feather by making it exclusive to battle mode. However, in my opinion, I really just don't feel like the Cape Feather is really all that good of an item, even when you place it in battle mode, and that is why it gets a place on this list. To me, I find the Boo item extremely annoying. I find it annoying when I get the Boo item, because really at the end of the day, I don't know if I'm going to get a good item or not, and being on the receiving end of a Boo item can be extremely devastating. Like, imagine you're about to block an item with another item, oh, a Boo just took it, and now I'm dead. Or, imagine I'm about to take a short shortcut with a mushroom, and then all of a sudden, as I'm about to use a mushroom, a boo just goes and takes it. Like, yes, I know the boo item is a classic, and it's shown up in every Mario Kart game since Super Mario Kart. However, I really just don't like the boo. And feel free to let me know down below whether you guys agree with me or not, because, yeah, this might be a hot take. And speaking of Mario Kart items that have been around for quite a while, we have the blooper item. Now, the problem with the blooper item in every Mario Kart game, to me, has been that the blooper really just doesn't do that much. Like, yeah, it covers the screen with ink, but if you're relatively good at the game, you should know how the track layout is, and the blooper really shouldn't impede on you at all. I think the blooper is really stuck in a situation where you either make the blooper really overpowered, or you make the blooper really useless. And to me, I feel like every time the blooper showed up in a Mario Kart game, it has been relatively useless. I feel like it doesn't cover up the screen enough, and that's why the blooper gets its spot on this list. The heart power-up from Mario Kart Double Dash is another one that's considered a special power-up, and this one is exclusive to both Princess Peach and Princess Daisy. And oh boy, this one really, really, really sucks. Literally, all the heart does is allow you to defend against two items. Two. Yes, the triple green shell is better than the heart. This item is useless. It should not have been in the loot pool, and in my opinion, it should not be in Mario Kart Tour. The pretty neat thing in Mario Kart history to take a look back on. However, the heart is an item that should never come back to Mario Kart, even if they give it a buff. Now, the lightning power-up is one of the worst reoccurring Mario power-ups, in my opinion. Yes, the lightning on the surface might seem like a great idea. However, say I was in first place, and let's say somebody in last place ended up using a lightning power-up. That means everybody behind me is unable to use an item, and that means nobody has a blue shell, nobody has a red shell, no Nobody can touch 
first place. So being in first place, the lightning power up is actually a godsend. Yes, it might help the one person that ended up using the lightning power up against you. However, you usually end up getting the lightning power up around 10th place. So really at the end of the day, the lightning power up is just a great equalizer and does nothing to really influence the overall match. And speaking of great equalizers, we have the POW block. Pretty much like the lightning power up in terms of actual use. However, what this one does is it stuns you temporarily. And when you get stunned by the POW block, you're also able to move forward a little bit too. So at the same time, you kind of keep your momentum a little bit. Really not as devastating as the lightning. And I feel like if they were going to put the POW block in the game, they should have just outright replaced the lightning. I find this one to be a bit of a better idea than the lightning power up in my opinion, especially since your acceleration does come to a complete stop, but the power block at the end of the day is pretty meh. And you knew this item was going to be on the list. Yep, that's right, the coin. Now, I feel like the coin is one of the most controversial Mario Kart power-ups in Mario Kart history. However, to be fair, the coin actually does have some use. The coin very minimally upgrades your top speed, and I actually do enjoy having coins on the tracks and making sure to go through and pick them up as I run out of coins. However, the problem comes in when you add them to the normal item pool. You go up to an item box expecting something good, and to me the coin shouldn't actually count as an item. Coin does nothing to affect other drivers, and that's really the whole point of a Mario Kart item. I mean, yes, you could say that about the mushrooms. However, the mushrooms at least give you a boost where you're able to do shortcuts, pass other drivers. There's a reason why you would want a mushroom. There is no reason why you would want a coin to show up in your Mario Kart match. Coins do get a major buff in Mario Kart Tour. However, if we're talking in terms of the mainline Mario Kart series, coin definitely should get out of the item box. But what say you? What is the worst Mario Kart item in Mario Kart history? Feel free to leave that down below. And as always, have a great day.